Hey everyone, this is Felicia with The Book Is Done. I'm back with the second book that I read for the month of November. This book right here is the first of three book series. I am super excited to get the second book because this book right here blew my socks off. I'm sure my socks were somewhere down the street, somewhere, if not in somebody's trash can because this, <laughs> this book right here, oh my goodness. You Did This by Jamie Millen, O-M-G. Let me tell you, this is one of the best books that I have read in a while. And that says a lot um, because I've read pretty good books this year. I've read almost 60, 70 books um, this year. I think I'm at 65. So, um, and my goal was 39. So, I've read pretty, pretty good books. Few of them, very few of them were five stars. This was up there with them. Um, the next book that she has is called You Made Me. Um, and I will be getting that book um, ASAP. But this book right here, You Did This, um, again, by Jamie Mellon. She, um, the main character is Claire. Claire is, um, she's the main character in the book. And she has a younger sister, I believe, by either two years or four years by the name of Tina. And, um... Tina, when she turns 14, um, she's murdered. She's murdered on her birthday. And um, it's just the four of them. It's Tina, Claire, and her parents. And so they live in this quaint town. And her dad loves both of them equally. And her mom cannot stand Claire. Cannot stand Claire at all. She automatically accuses Tina, or excuse me, automatically accuses Claire of, of killing Tina. Um, because Tina was just like, even though Tina was the second child she had, she felt like Tina was the only child that she had. And so, um, of course, Claire feels some kind of way because she's the oldest and she always felt like her mother never really did love her, especially when she had Tina. And so um, um, Claire felt like it was her fault because she was supposed to have um, walked Tina home from school. And Tina did. So Tina was like a whore. She was just... Uh, a straight person who tortured her sister, um, typical little kid, little sister, little brother type stuff. I'm not going to say typical, but if you have siblings, those that are younger than you, or even some that are older than you, you or maybe it was you, um, where you would just irk the nerves of your siblings just because you simply felt like you could. And so Tina was definitely that. Everybody saw Tina as like this perfect little girl who could do no wrong. And Claire was like, this girl is a witch. Like, I can't stand her. I don't like her. I wish she would just die. And, of course, she would say that out of anger, but she never really wished death on her sister. So, um, on her 14th birthday, Tina is murdered. Her mom instantly, instantly, even up until the end of the book, is accusing Claire of killing her sister. Claire did not kill her sister. That's just a, a spoiler. She did not kill her sister. So, fast forward 12 years later, um, Claire becomes a police detective and she, um, you know, did all of her schooling and training and things of that nature, uh, preparing her for this moment in Boston. And um, she returns back to Newburgh, which is the town that they grew up in, with the goal of solving her sister's murder because it was never solved. Um, it was just cut and dry, you know, found her. They ultimately pieced together that they felt as well was a serial killer um, and that her sister was one of them because um, it just didn't make sense. And so in her coming back and Claire coming back, she joins the police force. Uh, she, as a detective, she didn't want to um, bring attention to herself um, that she was there to solve the murder because she just went in and got straight to work. And so it eventually came to light that she was there to solve her sister's murder that happened 14 years ago. And spoilers Claire became a suspect because it was like as soon as she came back it was like three other young ladies who had gotten murdered they were all 14 they all had blonde hair and they all had blue eyes I'm pretty sure that's right but they were all 14 and they all went to the same school and so it was just like okay what is going on and then like when she let them know that her sister was murdered 
you know, then that's when they said this could be a serial killer because she matches the description of the other young ladies who had been recently killed. And so, um, I'm gonna stop right there with everything. But like I said, Tina did not, or excuse me, Claire did not kill Tina. But oh, when you find out who did, you are gonna be like, what? <laughs> what just happened? And so, um, this book was such a good book it is a it is a long book um it, this is 405 pages um i i haven't been reading books that long for a minute um you know before it was like stephen king harry potter books it was nothing to read six seven eight hundred nine hundred pages now i'm just like listen i gotta live y'all i can't i can't i can't do this but this book was so, so good. So like I said, it's um, the first of a three book series. The second book is called You Did, or excuse me, You Made Me. And the third one is called You Are Next. This is on my wish list. On my wish list. You hear me at Amazon, on Amazon. Um, if y'all are interested in getting me the second book, please feel free to send me a message. I will gladly send you my wish list so that you can bless me with that book um if i don't buy it first this book was so 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 good so if y'all haven't read her please feel free to check it out um you did this um is the first book of the three-part series let me know what your thoughts are i can't wait to hear about it i believe she's written some other books as well but i think that's the only series that she has so um that's the second book that i read for november or one of the books that I read for November. So um, this is Felicia with the book is out. Let's go.